Ladies, liqueurs, and changing the landscape of drinking. Let's look at the story of Marie Brizard, the lady behind the liqueurs. Who is Marie Brizard? Well, let's go back to a time when things were very different. It was also a time before women were free to embrace an entrepreneurial spirit, before Facebook, before Snapchat, and before women had the vote. Women weren't even recognised as equal citizens. And that's what makes this story a particularly interesting one. Born June 28, 1714, in Bordeaux, France, Marie was one of 15 children to a tradesman cooper, Pierre Brizard. In 1725, he took on his own vineyard, which had its very own distillery. In 1755, Marie took him to a home and cared for an ill West Indian sailor, and in return, he gave her a recipe for an aniseed liqueur. Our fierce 18th century female entrepreneur became famous for her delicious anisette. Marie created her company at a time when women were not allowed to even sign company or legal documents. Yep, men had the foreseeable control, but women still had their smarts. So in order to establish her brand, she had to get creative. Marie opted to marry a family friend named Jean-Baptiste Roger. Jean-Baptiste could open accounts and sign the necessary legal papers, while she, the one with the true know-how, took care of everything else. Marie Brizard became the first French master liqueurist. In 1763, her anisette was so beloved that it was even regularly sipped by members of Louis XV's court. Pioneer and visionary Marie Brizard was a creator and mastered the distillation process thanks to her father's heritage. She mastered first the citrus fruit liqueur expertise, which continued in 1766 with the release of fine orange liqueur and a parfait amour followed by a curacao and a triple sec liqueur in 1800. Like with all her liqueurs, they had to include 100% all natural ingredients, and that's never changed. What has changed since the company's inception is the expansion to over 60 products, including syrups, liqueurs, and essential oils. Fast forward roughly 260 years and 10 generations later, and Marie's brand, which is still family owned by the way, continues to thrive. Though two and a half centuries have passed, the recipes to a liqueur still remain top secret and the anisette remains her hero product for the brand. 